Hey, what is up there guys? Retro Old School here, Ultimate Fall. Look at this beautiful thing. Hey, what would I say this is? What, 88 to 92? And um, it's thanks to Ben who first saw this car. He took a picture of it, I don't know, a month or two ago. And uh, and first of all, I noticed that it's, I mean, it's really original. Those are the stock wheels. And, you know, when this restyle came out in the 87, 87, I think, funny enough that they came out with what was called an option called 4WS, which means four wheel steering. So if you were to so if you were to turn right, the wheels in the back would turn the other way. It's very bizarre. Well, no, I'm not saying this one does, but it was an option. You know. You know, this car is actually very original. I can see it by the uh, the plastic pieces that the paint's all discolored. I think those tailpipes, the dual pipes there, that's a very typical. Honda thing, like especially on the Prelude and the Accord. Oh, she's got a little bit of rot there, eh? I just see that there. Very original. That paint is probably original then. I would imagine so. I can already hear that Honda, typical Honda starter of the 80s and up there. <laughs> Sunroof. But this car is not from Quebec, man. Yeah, it doesn't look like it would be. I'll give you two reasons why it's not. First of all, the front windows are tinted. Secondly, there's a front license plate bracket. There's a good chance this car is from Ontario or States or something. It's too bad the lighting is not exactly, uh, not, prime. not fantastic for it, but just a little fun video, just a little thing. Typical of wipers, eh? the arms, all the black paint came off, it's metal, you know. But uh, considering the age of this car, it's in great condition. Very nice condition. Standard transmission. Yeah. Very nice driver. I would like to know what year it is actually. Got the the uh, probably I don't know if that was standard. Maybe it was optional. That spoiler on the rear uh, trunk. Yeah. Yeah. Honda really. I think Honda of all the manufacturers in the in the late 80s, man, they were fucking bang on. Really big time. It's not hard to see. Whoa, there's a nice Camaro. It's not hard to see why they sold so many cars, so many Civics, so many Preludes, so many Accords. Uh, it's it's uh, and and it's no wonder why people today they're looking for these cars because me I'm uh, you know I'm a Generation X I was a kid you know when these cars came out and I and people I know uh, from uh, my age group that uh, you know they they had these cars or, or they knew somebody who had it it was, a, it was a big deal you know i mean today the cars are filled with plastic more than ever they're mostly generic or dull with the exceptions of these two here and uh there's my buddy there and and yet you know what was great about the prelude and the accord compared to other cars that they all had the the hideaway lights they were also all lower than most cars this one actually it looks like it's got new shocks on it because it's supposed to be a bit lower i think and when you get new shocks on a car it, it's normal for it to sit a bit high like that hell even this was optional maybe or was added on anyway this like deflective wind deflector here i really like the interior it almost like the the, the, the gauge very clean module. very well taken care oh, of yeah, for sure. very well taken care of. it's actually amazing that it even has rust as i saw in the, the wheel well in the back because it's in such nice condition Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That's a very nice uh, specimen. It's funny because I'm very hungry. We're going to go find a place to eat uh, lunch. And uh, and I actually passed up filming an old Caprice compared to this because, again, these cars, they were great cars, but they just rusted to hell like everything else. And um, it is what it is. You know, I mean, there's people, people hung on to those Caprices, you know, those types of cars because they were just tough as nails. Uh, that's the the positive compared to these these types of cars and japanese cars as good as they were they weren't as um uh what's that word i'm looking for uh perfected until like you know in the well maybe i'm wrong i'm gonna stop talking now because because the generation before that of prelude so 83 to 86 were great cars too but i had a friend who had a bunch of them and they i'm sure that these models that replaced them were better because i know the accords started to be better you know, let's say like 87 and up, you know, in civics. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.